Hey guys, my name is Ale. And I'm Dahlia. And we're gonna tell you about our AVID experience so far in high school as a senior. And as a junior. So every Thursday we have groups outside and groups inside the classroom doing quiet work time every Thursday. So now let's get an inside look of the classroom. So usually in AVID we reflect a lot on what we want to improve on and our goals. So for the new year 2022, we have a lot of papers on the wall and just to look back at what we want to focus on our goal. Here are a couple things you can learn from AVID. You develop note-taking skills. You also learn how to become a better student. So I am a senior, so I've been an AVID ever since middle school. So for six years, I've been an AVID. And what I've learned so far is how to apply to colleges, uh, for FAFSA, scholarships. So Ms. Williamson, how, what have you seen from the students that have improved? Well, one thing I notice about the students that take AVID is they really learn good note-taking skills. And even though, especially as freshmen, sometimes it doesn't feel like that's something you want to do, take notes when everybody else isn't. By senior year, everybody's telling me, oh my gosh, the notes helped me so much. That's why I do well on my test, because of the notes. Guten Tag, my name is Joseph Gigioni und ich bin Axinier Al. Hi, my name is Joseph Gigioni. I've been in German for four years and I really liked every year of it. It's with my favorite teacher, Herr Ludwig. The work is very easy, it's very simple, the teacher is very nice, and you should really consider joining. Bonjour, je m'appelle Jeanette Kibad, et je parle le français de vous, 56. My favorite part about studying French would be learning about their culture and traditions there, because I find it very interesting since their customs are different from ours, and the reason why I took French was because I always thought French sounded very beautiful, so I thought it would be really cool if I learned how to speak and how to understand French, so yeah. Minasan, konnichiwa. My name is Kat Boo, and I'm a senior in my fourth year of Japanese. There are many things that make Japanese one of my favorite classes, so I'll be sharing a few of them today. Every Friday, we have Happy Kinyori, where we take a break from the lessons and watch Japanology, a video series that teaches various parts of Japanese culture. We also often have interactive classes. Hi, my name is Alex. My favorite part of taking Chinese is calligraphy. It's so much fun learning to write in a different language, especially when the language is so different from your own and Chinese calligraphy really is beautiful. The reason I wanted to learn Chinese is that it was one of the most spoken languages in the world. No matter what your career you're going for, if it deals with people, there's a good chance Chinese will help you. Ciao, mi chiamo Gabby, and I take Italian before. I take Italian because I'd like to go to Italy one day, so I thought it'd be useful if I knew a few words before I went. My favorite part about this class is the teacher. She makes the class really fun and her lessons are really easy to follow. Bye, thank you. Hola, yo soy Jackie, un estudiante de Hilltop High School and um, I took Spanish to better my Spanish and to better my speaking skills in Spanish. And something that I really enjoyed from taking this class is actually like learning useful things that I can use in real life situations yes photography changed my life a lot by learning how to take different styles of photos learning a different type of camera movements different shots my photos before were kind of just bland 
but now they're they look more alive they look more natural and they look more balanced compared to how I used to take photos so if you're a person who likes taking photos a lot you know I would suggest taking this class because it would help you a lot and the way you take photos and your style and name I like that we get to go out and like take pictures it's very creative you get like I believe my creative outlet like gets to be shown in my photos and because I'm learning I get to see like the angles and the movements and whatnot. You join a VAPA course. So I joined a VAPA course because, well, I've been in a VAPA course in seventh grade. I was in orchestra and I just wanted to continue it. I wanted to um, continue growing and getting better. So that's why I joined a VAPA course here in high school. Why did you join a VAPA course? Um, I joined a VAPA course because I wanted a breath of fresh air from my academic classes. Um, I say if you are someone that has a lot of creative interests, the VAPA courses at our school is a perfect outlet to work on those interests and to also find people that share the same passion as you do. How has being in a VAPA course helped your experience in high school? So being in a VAPA course has allowed me to get involved. Um, I feel like if I weren't in orchestra, I'd be more like reserved, whereas in orchestra we've got all these events where you play in front of the school, we've got field trips, you know, you make all these friends so you feel a lot more involved. How has being in a VAPA course uh, helped your experience in high school? Honestly, speaking personally, it's, it's a breath of fresh air, like from having classes from AP, AP World, and then you have your pre-calculus class, knowing that you have, in my terms, band the next period, it's a weight off my shoulders because I know I'm going to be in a class where I get to have fun doing something I love with people that I love. So.